guys. It's Matt Lipke with True Gamer Goggles. We're at Gen Con 2015, and we're at the uh, Scale Games Limited booth. Uh, I'm with Jeff. He represents, I guess you could say he's the representative in the U.S., and we're going to chat about their games. They have... Uh, Small Riders? Oh, yeah. Small. Small. I'll Dual. let you talk. <laughs> Fighters, right? Smog Riders, which I didn't actually know the name of that one, and I might bite this one and get it wrong. Final Frontier. Nope. Fallen, Fallen Frontier. Fallen Frontier. Double F. That's right. Double F. Um, but the models look great, and I actually kind of just fell into their booth by accident. So, you know, we chatted a little bit. I've been back once or twice, and well, I guess we're gonna, well, no, we'll save them for last. Okay. Fallen Frontiers. Fallen Frontiers. Uh, the models look great. Uh, they just finished Kickstarter, so there's not a whole lot here to look at. It is a D6 skirmish-based game. Right. And here's the map. Uh, this was a PDF, apparently, in the Kickstarter. And I'll let him tell you about the rest. It's easier. <laughs> All right. Um, we have four factions. We have the Harvesters, which are basically the board. Um, we have the Ares, which are not really humans. They look like humans, but they're not. They are genetically enhanced. Soldiers. We have the Sayaks, which are the humans actually, and then we have the Rift, which are like a, a cat or kind of combination from space. A, a cat? Yeah, they, they, people say they look like kitties, people say they look like corks. I don't know. Oh, they're corks. Yeah, they're corks. They're corks. Hi. Can you make sense? We're back, and um, we are. I want to finish talking about the uh, small brand. No, we're still on Fall of Frontiers. Because you haven't talked about the beta rules yet, right. or whatever beta else. Beta rules were just released today. You can get it at fallfrontiers.com or on our Facebook page, Fall of Frontiers. Uh, they're on both sites. Um, I think we got everything, but I'm not sure. I think, we, I think we need to cover uh, a couple of things about the, the Prithium. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't talked about the, the, yeah, the money, the money, money system. system. Right. So. In a, in a game on a, on a 4x6 board, you would put five Krithium points out and you have to capture. Every turn that you that you have the Krithium, you get money, and that's what you can use to buy equipment, which you have equipment cards, and then you have a deck of cards that help set your strategy for your game. So when someone comes to your table and they see your miniatures on the board, they don't go, oh, I know how to defeat him already. No, because your deck is going to tell you how those miniatures are play differently. Right, that's right. We didn't talk about the cards. We didn't talk about the cards. We didn't, yeah. It's a D6 space game, and then you have a deck of cards that you construct. Right. Which is one of the things that makes the game a little bit more unique. Exactly. And it also adds, uh, I guess, a little bit more random variety to it. Right. As well as a certain amount of different skill with a miniatures game. Exactly. Which makes it work. So, the Kickstarter funded, when did it end? Oh, roughly. I'm trying to think of when it ended. About six months ago. About six months ago. Yeah. Uh, what was the goal, and how much did it fund for? It, it funded like I think believe 265 percent over the goal. Excellent. Because I, I don't remember seeing this one. Okay. So it, you know, I am only well, I think, so good at following Kickstarter because I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now we can move to Smog Riders. Well, let's, let's talk about the Smog Riders. But one thing about it, when they were originally designed, um, there wasn't going to be a game. But, because they were going to be our level up system, they were going to be to teach people how to paint miniatures. That's how Smog Riders came really? in. Really? Yes. And that's why in the book, in each miniature, so, there's instructions for how to paint. Each model. Each model. Every model comes with their own instruction sheet. Step by step. Oh, and these codes are your color. Our, 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 our paints, right. Which ones we use. And then on the back are written instructions so you can follow written instructions. In English, Spanish, and French. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So, but then, as they, as they came along, and after talking to me, I said, hey, we should make this a game. So now we've got a game of development. Uh, we don't have a whole lot to tell you right yet about how the game's going to play. We know it's going to be a dungeon crawl. But other than that, we're not quite sure if it's going to use D6 or if it's going to use multiple dice. I'm trying to get them to use those, the D4, the D6, the D8, the D10, and the D12, so that the pro players have something to use those dice in besides this role play. Okay. Um, kind of off topic, if they want to see a game that works, there's a game 
called Tree Blades that uses the D4, D6, D10, D12 system as a miniature skirmish game. So okay. you, you guys can maybe do yeah. some collaboration because they already have a game that's in existence and they're a small company, so I'm sure they would love some more, you know, play test opportunities right. exactly. and, and things like that. Collaboration, uh, different style of minis, yeah. but they do yeah. their 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 rules are. Yeah. So, it so it's something, you know, you can go talk to them about. Okay. Um, I don't know where it'll go, but I know that this, that's one cool thing about this community. It's it's small, and even though everybody's competing, they're not. Yeah, yeah they, I've noticed that about the bitches. Adepticon uh, in here. Uh, well, I mean, just gaming in general. In general, yeah, but they come together like this, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's like, oh, we're competing with so-and-so, but you know what? It's like, so-and-so makes our models. Right. Or... Or, you know, it, it's really just, it's its really a, I don't want to say I scratch your back, you scratch my back kind of thing, no, but there's, it, it's more of a, a teamwork kind of a thing because I think maybe 10 years ago it was different. Very, very much so. Now the community, for the most part, there's still companies that don't see it. They realize that if they help the smaller companies, there's more fish in the barrel. Right. And, and that's... Because the smaller companies bring new gamers in and then they can get... Yeah. Boy, did we get sidetracked. Woo. Anyway, back to Smog Riders. Um, you got plenty of figs. Is this, this is one of each, or...? I believe it's one of each, yes, sir. They're light. Oh, yeah, all resin. All wow. resin. They, they look like this in, in the box. Oh, wow. Oh, they even, they're even real easy to put together. Yeah, I can see how this is a, a step-up series, a level-up series in painting. That's awesome. So, okay, now it is a game system to be. Um, it's a dungeon delve kind of thing. That's really all you know. That's all we know right now, yeah. yeah. You know, the miniatures are really cool. They, they are. <laughs> I'll be getting photos, so. Okay. Um, yeah. So where do you want to go with it? Because, I mean, she threw all these minis at you. I, I mean, if you want to show them, or, or we can, you know. Well, I'm going to take photos. Get photos in here. Um, is there anything else to, no, I to cover? So. I think, okay. Well, awesome. thank you for your time. Well, thank you for interviewing us. I, I appreciate it. I'm sure that other people appreciate it. You're pretty new. And, yeah. Um, I... Actually, I think I've seen some of this stuff somewhere, the Scale 75, okay. but I'm not sure where. I just kind of remember seeing, maybe I saw it in many or not or something, until we painted it up. Right. Type of thing. But anyway, thank you guys, and uh, this should be up shortly. Fantastic.